Good morning. I'm coming to you on uh, April the 3rd with my opinions on Ukraine. I didn't uh, want to do this today. Uh, I've been playing around with the editing uh, features on YouTube uh, Studio and um, I wasn't uh, prepared really to do this. But I, when I woke up, I saw those pictures from Bucha. Uh, the atrocities are unbelievable. Uh, the Russian army, if you, you can't call them an army. They're a gang of criminal murderers. Um, they should be hunted down and killed. There's no other option. I think negotiations are going to be very, very difficult for the Ukrainians now after these massacres. Um, in fact, I just saw a Ukrainian uh, member of parliament say that she was told by another MP that there was no need to get uh, food for children up in Bucha because the Russians have killed every child they could find. Um, this is, you know, to me, I mean, you can't call them animals. Uh, animals don't do that. Uh, these are murdering monsters. They are a gang of criminals masquerading as an army. And we should give the Ukrainians every single weapon system to wipe them out, wipe them from the earth. There is no excuse. I wrote my congressmen and the two senators, and I asked them, I pleaded with them to send every weapon system that they can, tanks, artillery, long-range missiles, anything that the Ukrainians want. And we have to do that. These are monsters. Putin is a monster. There is no question. This is not uh, a human being that you can uh, deal with. He is a monster. He offers nothing but blood, destruction, rape, pillage, death. He is a war criminal. He should be summarily executed and hung from a lamppost. This man is a monster. I urge everyone who is listening to me to write their congressmen and to plead with them to give full support to the Ukrainians. Putin cannot escalate. It is impossible. His troops are being mobilized in eastern Russia from minorities. He can't. He will not mobilize St. Petersburg or Moscow. He knows that body bags there will cause major political tremors. He won't do it. He will not use the nuclear option. Russian protocol demands that several high-ranking military men and political leaders hold the key and must agree with Putin to launch any kind of nuclear weapon. He will not do that. His own military will stop him because they know that suicide. So we have to force Putin to fear us. Not We cannot fear him. He is a rabid dog. And he should be put down. And anyone, anyone who supports Russia, who makes excuses for Russia, you are complicit in the murder of children. I don't want, if, if anyone does support Russia, and they happen to be my friends on Facebook, which is all the social media I have, please unfriend me. I don't want anything to do with you. You are basically a criminal. Uh, so I beg everyone uh, to write their congressmen, write their senators. I've already done it. I will ask for meetings with, this, with senators and congressmen to get them to fully support the Ukrainians. This cannot happen. We're in the 21st century in Europe, and we can't tolerate this. The execution of children on the streets, execution and torture of civilians while you're fleeing. There's even reports that they shot pets on the way out. These are not soldiers. They're criminals masquerading as an army. It's unacceptable to any human being. This is unacceptable behavior. 
and sh it should not be tolerated. The only way we're going to stop it is if the Ukrainians have the weapons to stop the Russians. I don't think negotiations are possible with this man now. I, I can't imagine that you would meet with this murderer. Um, Putin deserves a slow, agonizing death. Uh, I don't believe in hell, but I almost wish there was one so that Putin and his cronies and, and his military would descend into it. By the way, if uh, Putin feared anti-Russian sentiment uh, and decried anti-Russian sentiment in Ukraine, I think he has fostered it and fanned it for a hundred years, maybe more. I think Ukraine will absolutely hate Russia. And if I were a Russian in Ukraine, in the Donbass era, I would go off to Russia because I think reprisals are coming. It's unfortunate, but I can't see how the Ukrainians will not take revenge on Russians. So they feared and they, uh, they decried uh, the statues of Stepan Bandera, the Ukrainian leader who sided with the Nazis and then was uh, abandoned by the Nazis, rejected, uh, and then fought both the Soviets and the Nazis in Ukraine. And the, the one claim that they, they have, were, uh, that Putin uses to claim that they are Nazis in uh, Ukraine. Uh, well, a lot more statues to Stepan Bandera are going to go up in the Ukraine. Uh, and Russians must take action against their government or else they're complicit in it. I know that they, they're lied to, they're brainwashed, but the situation is so clearly criminal that I think Russians must take action and stop their government. If they don't, I think the Ukrainians, the world, will despise them. So I'm going to leave you now because I've, I'm really despondent about what I saw. Um, and I hope that I'm not going to put the pictures up. I have young um, listeners or young viewers, so I don't want to terrify them. But I urge uh, adults to go into uh, news services and see some of these pictures and listen to some of the commentary on it. And I think you'll get a picture of the inhumanity of the Russian criminal gang that is masquerading as the Russian military. Well, so long.